Okay, welcome to Engineering Visualization channel. Okay, as we are discussing the problems on points here. Okay, now we look into the next type of problem. Okay, here in the question given, a point P is on HP. Is on HP means it is the front view. So remember it. And 35 in front of VP, it is the top view. Okay, here are the TV. Another point Q is on VP. Is on VP means it is the top view. Okay and below HP, below HP means it is a front view. They have not given any kind of distance here. The line joining their front views makes an angle of 30 degree to XY line. Well, the line joining their top views makes an angle of 45 degree with XY line. Find the distance of the point Q from HP, okay? That's what, so we'll go step by step here. So first I'm going to draw XY line here. Okay, X, Y. Here, point P is on HP means I'll consider this is our point P. I'll give this as P dash. That is our front view, okay? And 35 mm below HP. Below HP means I'll consider a distance of 35 from the scale or from these boxes, okay? Three and a half box, okay? 10, 20, 30, 35. You can consider this distance and then draw a line, okay? For a 35. And here I will put a point this is our point i'll make it a little more darker here this is our point okay and here it is having a distance of 35 mm okay 35 mm distance so this is done okay 35 now you can see here another point q is on vp so another point will be there on vp means it is on the x y line okay on hp on vp means it, we should mention it on the x y line remember it on HP or on VP means we should mention on the XY line. On VP means it is a top view. On HP means it is a front view. Front view or the top view, you have to mention the XY line. We don't know how much distance we have to mention. And then below HP means it is a front view. With that also they have not given any kind of distance. Okay. So what they have given is the line joining their front views makes an angle of 30 degree to X1. So this is our front view. So okay, front view for the front view. I'll be drawing with an uh, 30 degree angle line here. Okay. So mention a point here. Then draw an angle line for an angle of here. It is 30 degree. You can mention it is 30. Okay. In the same way, you can see now while the line joining their top is, while the line joining their top is makes an angle of 45 degree. So this is top view. So here, I'm going to mention an angle of 45 degree. Okay. So we'll draw a line here passing through this point. Okay. And this is having an angle of 45 degree. Okay. Here it is intersecting. This is our point which is nothing but Q here, which is nothing but Q. You can see here, Q is on VP means it is our top view, it is done, okay? Now, say this is on this angle line, okay? You can see here, line, line joining their front views makes an angle of 30 degree to XY. This is one front view, that means another front view has to be there on this angle line, correct? As we have the top views, which are having 40 degree, you can see well the line joining their top views makes an angle of 45 degree with XY. So 45 on the 45 degree we have the top view, top view of P and top view of Q. In the same way, the front view of P dash and Q dash has to be there as on the on the angle line. So here we know that uh, the views on the same point it will be on a collinear straight line. Okay, collinear that means we should draw a straight line from here. Okay, so I'll draw one straight line projecting downward till touching the 30 degree angle line. So here, so this is the point which is. This is where we are getting this, the, the front view of Q. So it is having, you can see, find the distance of the Q from HP means it is having a distance of, so here you can say some around 18 mm it is having. Yes, it is having around 18 mm. 18, or you can say 18, 19 mm. You can say 18 to approximately 19 mm. Okay. So that completes the problem. You can subscribe for the channel and hit on the bell icon for the latest notifications and share it to the maximum students so that they can be benefited. Thank you all. Thank you for watching the video.